grace, mercy, and peace to you from God, our Father, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A yellow diamond sign with black letters on the side of the road is always a warning sign. It could be warning that there's a sharp turn ahead or a dead end or a road close. These signs might be warning about some kind of crossing of a school or train. It could be ducks or a deer. I'm sure when you been driving, you've seen all kinds of signs like this. And ignoring these kinds of warning signs can cause injuries to people. But have you ever seen a sign that was warning Emmanuel ahead? In Isaiah chapter 7, that's around 700 AD, King Ahaz is given a warning. Ahaz was a descendant of the great King David, a great Christian and believer. And yet, King Ahaz was exactly the opposite of his ancestor, that he was not a believer. He was not a Christian. He was a wicked, unbelieving king. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Ahaz had a problem that his kingdom of Judah was surrounded by all kinds of enemies. And in this time period, these enemies are all going to team up to go up against King Ahaz and the little kingdom of Judah to rip them apart. But Ahaz was worried because he did not believe in God like King David did. And so God sent Isaiah, his prophet, to assure Ahaz that God was going to provide for him. He was going to protect him from his enemies. And to prove this to Ahaz, God was willing to give him a sign. It could be any sign. Ahaz could have picked any sign that he wanted. He could have picked something simple like a shooting star going across the evening sky. He could have picked something much more difficult, like a meteor coming down and crashing on his enemies. He could have picked any sign he wanted, and yet he didn't ask for any sign at all. And that's because he did not trust in God. Instead, he trusted in his human alliances that he made with other kingdoms to keep him safe. Because he did not trust in God, he did not ask God for a sign. Because he was not convinced that anything that God could do was going to protect him and provide for him from his enemies to keep his throne and his kingdom safe. So, to prove to Ahaz and to prove to the rest of the world that God can be trusted, God decided to give his own sign. And it was a sign that was an embarrassment to Ahaz because it was both simple and miraculous. It was a sign that would take 700 years to fulfill. Through his prophet Isaiah, God promised the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel. Even though Ahaz sinned with his false humility and his lack of trust in God and his refusal to to listen to God's words, still, God loved King Ahaz enough to give him a warning. And that warning was the promise of a Savior. The sign of a Savior was an embarrassment to Ahaz. It was an embarrassment because God was sending a Savior. Ahaz did not want a Savior, neither one that was going to save him physically from his enemies or spiritually from his sin and damnation. <clears throat> This sign was going to be an embarrassment because here is powerful King Ahaz of the once mighty kingdom of Judah, and he has to be saved by another king, a little king that's a baby. He is giving this warning, that's a promise, that God is going to save him and save the entire world. Ahaz didn't like it that God was going to come and come in such a simple way of a helpless little baby that is born to a woman who is not even married. And we can often refuse God's word to children 
but you can refuse to listen to God's word when it tells you that you need to listen to your parents and grandparents and you need to pay attention to your teachers in school as adults. You can refuse to listen to God's word when it tells you that you need to be, that you need to love your enemies. Be polite to those who hate you. Turn the other cheek that you need to be respectful to your governing authorities that you disagree with. You can refuse to listen to God's word when it's telling you to always be thankful and to not always be so grumpy and complaining. You don't want to hear God's word when it's telling you that you've sinned and you're not the good people that you think you are. And even though as adults and children we can be like King Ahaz and refuse to listen to God's words, God still loves us. He loves us enough to put up a warning sign for us. He loves us enough that this warning is also a promise that he will fulfill. That it is a warning that when we don't listen to God's words, then injuries can happen. Injuries physically now and injuries that will happen when we don't believe in God's words that will be injured in the fires of hell for all eternity. God loves us enough to give us warnings. But he loves us enough that these warnings are also promises that he fulfills. He loves us enough to fulfill a promise to give us his son, to be born as a baby at Christmas, and then to name him Emmanuel, a name that means God is with us. And that's an important name for us. Because it can happen during any time of the year, but especially during this time of the holidays when we become very busy. Maybe our children, our extended family, our parents, our friends are so busy to hang out with us. And so we can feel lonely and, and lost. And yet we have a God who is Emmanuel. He is always with us. He is with us in always loving us. He is with us. He is always forgiving us. He is God who is Emmanuel right now in this sanctuary with us, speaking to you in God's words, in the, in the devotion and scripture readings, that God is speaking to you as you speak back to him in your praises and in your songs today. He is with you today in the word that is connected with bread and wine of the Lord's Supper. He is with you as God's word connected with the waters of baptism. The sign that God gave to Ahaz is the same sign that God gives to all of us. It is a warning for us and for King Ahaz, Emmanuel ahead. It's a warning for us that when we don't listen to God's word, that injuries can happen. But it is also a warning that's a sign of love. It's a sign that God is with us when we do listen and believe. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Please rise.